anybody on traffic. Start our turnout. Oh, it's a beautiful day. It's a little windy, but it's good practice. There's a plane. He's got no ADSB. Nice looking cup. And I can see Glens Falls right in front of us. So 119.925. I trimmed a little high. Put your nose down a little bit. One six zero. So it should be one nine. One two three zero. Two three zero zero. Blanche Falls traffic, yellow Cub, five miles to the southeast inbound. Blanche Falls. Bringing it back to 23.5. Take a look, it's 1.9. Pattern altitude 13. Glens Falls traffic, yellow champ 45 for the downwind for 1-9, Glens Falls.
Clint's Falls traffic, yellow champ, downwind, morning Ryan, Clint's Falls. Right, right, crosswind. We're beaming the number, so we'll bring it down to 15. Start our descent. Look for our 45. See how the wind is. We can always go around. Glens Falls traffic killer champ left base from way one nine. Glens Falls. Looks like it's straight down the runway, according to the windsock. Let's see how we're doing here. Let's get us to the runway. Glens Falls traffic, yellow champ, final runway, one nine, Glens Falls. Pitch for speed. Uh, geese on the thing. Let's hope the geese stay there. Glance Falls traffic yellow champ on the go. One nine. Glance Falls.
Well, that wasn't too bad. A little bit of a crosser. No, actually, there wasn't any wind. So we did pretty well. Get up to a thousand feet over Glens Falls. We can see the uh, ski mountain over here. See any traffic? Let's depart to the east. Glens Falls traffic, yellow champ, departing the area to the west, Glens Falls. Well, there's the ski mountain over there, I think that west mountain, oh west mountain, I think it's west mountain. Fuel looks good, oil temperature looks good, oil pressure looks good. It's 1600. Let's continue to climb and we'll go over to Lake George. We'll take a look at Lake George, see how that looks today. It's a great view of uh, Glens Falls right there. Keeping an eye out of outside of the window, make sure nobody's around. And we're headed to Lake George. What a beautiful day. I don't see anybody, I don't hear anybody. We got a plane over the top of us, 3,000, 30,000 feet over the top of us. There's no factor. He's way, way up there. About 2,000 feet. Let's climb up a little bit because if we're going to be over the water, I like to have a little bit more altitude. Climb up 3,000 feet just so we can kind of see it. That way, in case something happens, we got a little bit more of an option about where we need to glide to. We're down really low over the water, especially in this valley here. There's uh, not a lot of options. Something goes wrong. That's the other, oh, there's a nice golf course underneath us. That's another thing that we were talking about was you're always looking for options. So you're not just flying around with your head up your butt. You're always looking around, you're looking outside, you're figuring out where you are, trying to figure out what the winds are doing. A lot of times we'll look at smokestacks when I was coming into Glens Falls. I was looking at the direction of the, sm of the smoke coming out of the smokestack. And actually it wasn't moving. It said, my ASOS said I was supposed to get 7 mile an hour winds, for, or 7 knot winds from uh, 160. And I was landing at 19 which means I was supposed to have a little bit of a crosswind, but it didn't look like it didn't feel like I had any crosswind at all. Uh, it was nice and calm coming in. Of course, the fourth flight said it was calm, and I think it was. So it's 2,700. Let's go up to 3,000 if we're going to fly over the top of the lake, and uh, we'll go check out the boats. I always like flying over the lake. I think it's really pretty. The views up here are amazing. I can see like a... Uh, an open pit, like gravel mine down there. And now actually we can... Shape and feel, 122.9. So let's go back to 1229. 1229. Let them know where we are. Alright, we're at 3000. 
back to I don't see any other planes. I don't hear any other planes. Ticonderoga. 4B6. We can fly up there. How are we doing on fuel? Doing half, three quarters. We're good. We're at 43 minutes. And we're over Lake George at 3,200. That's a beautiful lake. So we're at uh, like 190 temperature, pressure's to 45, so that's pretty good. Feels pretty good. We're doing like uh, 95 miles an hour. Maybe we got a little bit of a tailwind. Might get a little bumpy over the lake, but that's okay. That's beautiful. A lot of people out on their boats today. Gas gauges look good, undercarriage. Make sure we don't have a mixture. P power at 2,000, 23.5, our cruising our RPM, right? F for flaps, we don't have any flaps. And uh, S, seatbelts. Seatbelts are good, doors are locked. Well, temperature, oil pressure, always keep an eye on things, especially when we're over water inside like a little bit of a valley, right? I'll climb to 35. Yellow Champ, 3,500 over Lake George northbound. Five zero Yankee, you want frequency?
I'm looking for this traffic here. He's going to come in behind me, and he's a little bit below me right now. And I don't see him. Ah, uh, I got him. I keep my eyes open. I'm losing a little altitude. I'm at 3,300. Oh, I got too low. Keep it up around 3,500. Turn it around and go back. We're at 50 minutes. We're at half a tank of fuel. It's a beautiful day. Looks like we're still recording. I don't know. It looks like it's blinking red. I hope that means still recording. Hope you're getting a beautiful view of these islands. Man, there's a gorgeous islands down here. South Albany, that's a long ways away. Let's go one two three zero just to double check.
Somebody's parasailing, that's fun. Fuel looks good, half a tank. Oil pressure's good, oil temperature's good. At 3,500. Just chugging along, about 90 miles an hour. Looks like the west side of Lake George. Keeping an eye outside. About 3,300 feet. 